Hey everyone, I wanted to show you something that I showed you in class, but it's a fairly in-depth process, so I thought I'd go over it again via video, and that is how to change all these EndNote markers to true superscripts without having to manually go through and apply character style. So the way we're going to do that is first we're going to set up a new character style that we want it to behave by or apply to those numerals, and we're going to call it superscripts. And I'm going to come over here to basic character formats and I want to change the positional form to superscript. Now it is important that you change this to superscript and not open type superscript at this point and I'll show you why in just one second. So now that we have that created, and we're going to change that positional form, and just to show you what it's actually going to do, I'll apply it manually once, but it's going to make those superscripts. So we're going to pull up the Find and Change palette, open up Grep, and that's in there from a previous search. I'm going to clear that, and I'm going to go to Symbols, we want to take advantage of this pattern of a open parentheses a digit and then a close parentheses. So we're going to find those characters, open parentheses, followed by a wild card of any digit, followed by a close parentheses, and that's going to search for anything in that pattern. And then we want to apply a character style to it that we previously created called superscripts. So I'm going to click find next and change. You can see it has the effect we're looking for. I'm going to click change all. It's going to change nine instances in this particular text. Now we're not quite done there because these are not true superscripts. They're faked through this button uh, which means they were proportionally shrunk and will look incredibly anemic as compared to the rest of the typeface. So if you're faking them you need to take some additional steps that we talked about in class. However, this typeface, Advance Pro, one of my favorites, has true superscripts. Now the reason why we did fake superscripts at this point was so that we could also include these parentheses, because eventually I want to delete them. In fact, that's what I want to do right now. So I'm going to pull up my find and replace, and I'm going to look, in, I'm going to look for any open parentheses character that also has the character style superscripts applied to it. It's very important. I don't want to delete any open parentheses characters that uh, are not attached to a superscript and actually sorry my mistake I want to do this in the text field so I'm going to simply type in the open parentheses and again make sure that it's attached to the superscript style and I'm going to leave this blank, and what that's going to do is actually delete it. So we'll find it, change it, and there it goes. I'm going to change all of those, and they will all be deleted. Now that I'm still in this palette, the Find and Change dialog box, I'm going to change this to a Closed, Find Next, Change All. It's going to kill all those parentheses. Now we still have this problem of faked superscripts. Because these already have a character style applied to them, what I'm going to now do, because I have access to true superscripts, let's come back to basic formats and change this from superscript position to open type superior superscript. And you can see how much beefier these got optically. Those are what the typographer intended and what I hope you all use. But again, we had to take advantage of that so we could identify those open and close parentheses and use the applied character style to find them and delete them. Hope that helps and makes sense.